Well, Evelyn Taft is here to take a look at it. I mean, it actually start, started out very cool this morning, mm -hmm. but the sun came out and it was nice. Eventually, yeah, and that's pretty mm -hmm. much going to be the drill for the next few days, starting oh, off good. cool, starting off cloudy, and then getting a little warmer as we head into the afternoon hours. So a little bit of cloud cover for us and that marine layer really starting to thicken up over the next couple of days and temperatures really starting to cool over the next couple of days as well. We're really only expecting 60s and 70s, believe it or not, in the forecast. Getting a look outside at Long Beach, there are clear conditions that we're looking at right by the coast earlier this morning as we just mentioned certainly not the case and that's not going to be the case as we head to the next few days especially in the morning hours by the end of the week we could even see some of that fog span into our inland valleys but at this point looking at lots of sunshine temperatures still doing okay over the next few days we're really going to see those temperatures start to drop so there are your weather headlines we're picking up where we left off we're cooling down we're going to see below average temperatures for this time of year and that really seems to be the story it's been the summer the summer story all summer long basically so we're really continuing with that for the next couple of uh, weeks as we get into fall other than that low clouds fog maybe even drizzle dominating the forecast mainly along the coast so again that marine layer is starting to thicken up over the next few days and with that temperatures taking a big spill over the next few days as well so you'll notice fog and maybe a little bit of a weekend warm-up the weekend's a little far away at this point but we are looking to gain maybe a few degrees still though probably below average for this time of year want to take you through Futurecast, you'll see by first thing tomorrow morning, 8.30 or so, we're really only seeing blues and greens on Futurecast. And blue and green really just indicates temperatures into the 50s and the 60s. Downtown only at about 61 first thing in the morning. Burbank at 59, Ontario at 58. So a cool start to the morning. Again, we're expecting that cloud cover to span into your inland valleys and with that keeping things pretty cool. By 10 o'clock, we're picking things up into the 60s, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Coastal numbers staying into the 60s, even the basin still into the 60s around 11.30 tomorrow afternoon. Around 2.30, we're picking up the pace a little bit. We're into the 70s in the basin, 80s into your inland spot, 60s by the coast, seeing a little more sunshine by the coast by the afternoon. But even then, we're keeping temperatures pretty much on the cool side. In fact, downtown getting only up to 75 degrees tomorrow afternoon, expecting mostly sunny conditions by the afternoon, but fog first thing in the morning. So you can pick up a copy of the paper and can get the daily news. Your five-day forecast will be in there, and you're going to see that cool down in your five-day forecast right here. You'll notice by tomorrow we're keeping things into the 70s in the basin. As we head into the valleys, we're going to keep things there a little cooler as well. Mid-80s though, so still on the warmer side and the beach, of course, a little cooler than everybody. Microclimates still kicking in this time of year. 68 for you by the coast. As we head to Wednesday, we're shedding 10 degrees in some spots. Take a look at that. So much cooler by Wednesday. Temperatures really bottoming out Wednesday and Thursday. Low pressure starts to dominate the forecast. And then by Friday, Friday. So we head into the weekend. There's that little weekend warm up we're looking ahead to. But at this point, really just keeping temperatures very cool.